In this exercise, we need to calculate the input current to a transmission line, which has a lot of complex arithmetic in it. Now I'm going to set up a script file to do this. Last time I created the script file by typing in edit command in the command window. This time I think I'll select new script file, which has the same result. Now I'm ready to create my script file here. First thing typically I want to do are some comments related to the problem that I'm solving at the moment. So now there's a variety of constants that the result depends upon. I'm going to go ahead and define them in a block at the beginning of the file. So first I'll set gamma, the length of the line, the load impedance, the output impedance, the generator impedance, and the generator voltage. Now the input current depends upon the input impedance, so I'll calculate input impedance first. And finally I can calculate the input current. Now I save the file. I need to provide it a file name, unlike when I typed the edit command example 4.1. So let's call this exercise 4P2. That'll be saved in my current working directory, which is MATLAB exercises on the C drive. Now last time I ran the file by typing a command at the command prompt, I can also run it by clicking on the run button here. The file runs and my input current is displayed over here in the command window.